Taxpayers might wonder, how does the government spend our hard-earned money? This year, as you might expect, with the nation at war, a large percentage is earmarked for national defense. But, as business editor Brian Banmiller reports, the military is not the largest category. April 15th, the perfect day for a loud demonstration against taxes. This group of irate taxpayers is with parent voices, picketing outside the state building in downtown Oakland. Their complaint? Corporate taxes, unfair taxes, how the low man on the totem pole is always paying, is always the one to be cut, and it's not fair. Lynette Robinson and her fellow citizens complain they are paying more taxes but can't afford child care, while corporations don't pay their fair share. Yet most taxpayers don't know where those taxes go. The conservative Cato Institute says most Americans think a majority of their taxes go to the military. But in fact, a huge chunk of all federal tax money now goes toward the so-called entitlement programs, such as Medicare, because of the rising cost of health care. About 40 percent of the whole budget now goes to the elderly. It's essentially money taxed from the young, and it goes to the um, old folks. This breakdown by the Cato Institute shows where some of your tax dollars will go this year. About 20 percent will fund Medicaid, Medicare, another 20 percent for Social Security, though that's not income tax money, but payroll taxes for the Social Security Trust Fund. The Cato Institute advocates Social Security privatization. 19 percent toward defense, 7 percent to pay interest on the national debt, 3 percent for education, and 2 percent for transportation. There's a huge amount of waste, whether we're talking about defense spending, or we're talking about education spending, or almost anything. David Thoreau says the average person pays almost 30 percent of income in federal, state, and local taxes, and he wants the burden reduced. And Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger wants some of your tax money to come back to California. In February, he went to Washington to complain that for every dollar Californians send to Washington, they only get back 79 cents. Today on Morning Zone 2, State Senate Leader Don Ferrata was asked if the trip helped get some money back. No, not a dime. In fact, we've lost money. Uh, we have a waiver pending right now for Medicaid, uh, which means a lot to us. We have not heard on that. Uh, they're really stiffing the governor, and I think it's, generally speaking, uh, the burden falls to the people in Congress who represent California, Republicans and Democrats. Just one more thing to complain about as you send in that tax check. Business Editor Brian Banmiller, KTVU Channel 2 News.